This video lesson is on the business cycle and will discuss the major differences between expansionary and contractionary phases of the business cycle. Expansionary policy, a macroeconomic policy that seeks to expand the money supply to encourage economic growth. One form of expansionary policy is fiscal policy, which comes in the form of tax cuts, rebates, and increased government spending. Expansionary policies can also come from central banks, which focus on increasing the money supply in the economy. The government will go through expansionary fiscal policy when there is an increase in government spending, which will stimulate the economy. The government will cut taxes, meaning that individuals and households will have more disposable income to buy consumer goods and services. The Federal Reserve will go through expansionary monetary policy, which will increase the money supply to stimulate the economy. The Federal Reserve will also lower interest rates which encourages individuals and households to borrow money to consume goods and services. As a result of this increase in government spending and the money supply and lowering taxes and the interest rates, the overall price levels in society will increase. As a result of the price levels increasing, inflation will eventually set in. There is a short-run trade-off between inflation and unemployment. Because inflation is increasing, the unemployment rate is going down. As a result of the unemployment going down, more people are working and contributing to real GDP growing and expanding upward. Contractionary policy. A type of policy that is used as a macroeconomic tool by the country's central bank or finance ministry to slow down an economy. Contractionary policies are enacted by a government to reduce the money supply and ultimately the spending in a country. This is done primarily through number one, increasing interest rates, number two, increasing reserve requirements, and number three, reducing the money supply directly or indirectly. This tool is used during high growth periods of the business cycle but does not have an immediate effect. The government will go through contractionary fiscal policy when there is a decrease in government spending which will lower price levels and inflation. The government will increase taxes, meaning that individuals and households will have less disposable income to buy consumer goods and services. The Federal Reserve will go through contractionary monetary policies which will decrease the money supply to lower price levels and inflation. The Federal Reserve will also increase the interest rates, which discourages individuals and households to borrow money to consume goods and services. As a result of this decrease in government spending and the money supply and increasing taxes and the interest rates, the overall price levels in society will decrease. As a result of the price levels decreasing, inflation will eventually decrease. There is a short-run trade-off between inflation and unemployment. Because inflation is decreasing, the unemployment rate is going up. As a result of the unemployment rate going up, more people are out of work and contributing to real GDP decreasing and contracting downward. The economic indicator, expansionary and contractionary policies for government spending, we will be increasing for expansionary 
decreasing for contractionary. Taxes, decreasing for expansionary, increasing for contractionary. The money supply, increasing for expansionary, decreasing for contractionary. Interest rates, decreasing for expansionary, increasing for contractionary. Price levels, increasing for expansionary, decreasing for contractionary. Inflation, increasing for expansionary, decreasing for contractionary. The unemployment rates, decreasing for expansionary, increasing for contractionary, and GDP will be increasing for expansionary and decreasing for contractionary.